Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about CART algorithm in machine learning. CART, which is the abbreviation of classification and regression trees, is a predictive algorithm in machine learning that models how the target variable can be predicted based on the given input features. Decision trees in the below two categories are together referred to as CART. So the two categories are classification trees and regression trees. Classification trees are used when the target variable is categorical. For example, yes or no. These trees predict the class or category to which the input data most likely belongs to. Regression trees are used when the target variable is continuous, for example, temperature monitoring. These trees predict a numerical value based on the given input features. Thus, the CART algorithm is a decision tree based machine learning technique which is used for both classification as well as the regression tasks. CART will construct the binary tree structure where each internal node represents a decision based on the features value and each leaf node corresponds to a class label for classification or a predicted value for the regression. While splitting the nodes, at each node, CART selects the feature and the value to split the data set into two subsets. It chooses the split that maximizes the homogeneity or purity of the resulting subsets, which is measured by the metrics like Gini impurity for classification or mean squared error for regression. Now let us understand about Gini index and its calculation. Gini index is a metric used for the classification task in the cart. It stores the sum of squared probabilities of each class. The probability that a particular variable would be misclassified when chosen at random is determined by the Gini index. It is also known as Gini coefficient or Gini impurity. It is having the degree range of 0 to 1. Here, 0 denotes the presence of a single class or the fact that all the objects fall under that particular class. When the Gini index is 1, all the items are dispersed randomly among the available classes. When Gini index is 0.5, the elements are distributed evenly among many classes. So here, 0 indicates the purity of the node and 1 indicates that it is completely impure. Now, let us see how does CART for classification works. CART for classification works by recursively splitting the training data into smaller and smaller subsets based on certain criteria. The goal is to split the data in such a way that it minimizes the impurity within each subset. Impurity is a measure of how mixed up the data is in a particular subset. We know that for classification task, CART uses Gini impurity. This measures the probability of misclassifying a random instance from a subset labeled according to the majority class. Lower Gini impurity means we have more purity for the particular subset. The CART algorithm evaluates all the potential splits at every node and chooses the one that best decreases the Gini impurity of the resultant subsets. This process will continue until a stopping criterion is reached like a maximum tree depth or a minimum number of instances in a leaf node. Similarly, let us see how does CART works for regression. Like classification, regression cart also works by splitting the training data recursively into smaller subsets based on certain criteria. The objective is to split the data in a way that minimizes the residual reduction in each subset. Residual reduction is a measure of how much the average square difference between the predicted values and the actual values for the target variable is reduced by splitting the subset. The lower the residual reduction, the better the model fits the data. CART evaluates every possible split at each node 
and selects the one that results in the greatest reduction of residual error in the resulting subsets. This process is repeated until a stopping criterion is met similar to the classification task. So the stopping criterion can be reaching to the maximum tree depth or having too few instances in a leaf node. So thus we have seen about what is CART and its working in this lecture. In the next lecture, we will discuss the CART algorithm with an example. Thank you.